So we're here with the Fraunhofer about the energy harvesting system. So hello, so who are you? I'm Peter from Fraunhofer. And uh, uh, what are you wearing on your wrist right here? This is actually a, a wristband which is powered by thermoelectric generators. So there's no battery? No, no battery. Thermoelectric, so the, the heat from your body? Yeah, the heat from your body is used with the help of a so-called thermogenerator. And the thermogenerator produces a very low voltage, a very small voltage. And we have developed special power management circuits to upconvert that voltage so that we are able to supply any commercial electronics. In this case, we're using a Bluetooth low energy wireless transceiver. That's amazing. So you can have a smartwatch with no battery. Exactly. It can last forever. Yes, exactly. As long as you wear it on your wrist. But right now it's this size, right? Is it possible yeah. that you can have it integrated in something like my watch? Like, how are you going to put it in something like this? Uh, we would use it probably not in the watch directly, but we would use it in the wristband. Is possible? Yes, of course. We would use a very small pieces of the thermoelectric um, harvester and distribute it all over the wristband, and then you can get around the, the display, maybe. Yeah, also maybe? around the display. Yeah. It can be any shape, or yeah, yeah. and you will be able to have enough power for this. Is very low power display. Uh, this is uh, with battery. It's seven days battery life. This yeah. one, so it's low power. Yeah. It's a microcontroller. It's not a, and it's an Artas microcontroller. Some kind of you know a Bluetooth yeah. solution. Now the Can problem is not the display or the microcontroller. The problem is always the wireless transceiver. So yeah. as long as you start sending any kind of data from your watch to your uh, smartphone or things like that, this is real the the consumer which consumes the most energy. And so it depends on the use case, if we can power it with thermal harvesting or not. And uh, what are you showing right here? Right here we're just showing that this principle is working not only on warm objects, or not, but also on cold objects. So what is this, cold? This is cold and this is warm. And this sensor is working on the cold pipe and it is also working on the hot pipe. It doesn't matter as long as you have a very small thermal gradient of at least two kelvins. And here you see uh, what we are measuring and we're sending the data to the display here. And all the devices are solely powered by the thermal gradient. So what is it showing here? So we're actually showing these two devices. We're showing uh, what kind of thermal gradients <coughs> we're using and we're showing the orientation of the device. And this is 32 degrees and the other one is 19? Uh, actually, the uh, uh, used thermal gradient is displayed here in the red, the red numbers. And uh, so this emits Bluetooth? Yes, Bluetooth low energy. And it turns it on as a PCB inside. Uh, yeah. Is a SOC an arm? Yeah. Is it an arm? Ah, yes. Very it Cortex M0 Plus, a very small one. Yes, exactly. And the software? The software is a standard software. So the main innovation in that system is the power management and the interface between the thermoelectric generator and the and the SOC Bluetooth model. Are you the most advanced in the world to make a uh, so small uh, heat, what's it called? A uh, heat uh, differentiator? What do you call this? Uh, uh, thermal thermal? Gen thermal generator. Thermal generator. Are you the most advanced thermal generator in the world? Uh, we have the most advanced power management for these thermal generators in the world. So this power management, is it a little chip? Yes. Is it's it an arm? No, it's a chip. It's not an, a microcontroller, it's just an analog chip which is able to use very, very low voltages, around 20 millivolts, and upconvert these voltages to around 3 volts. And with these 3 volts, I can power any kind of electronics as long as the power is sufficient. How can it upconvert? Where does it get the power from? Is it magic or? <laughs> no, it's not magic. It's a principle which uses a transformer and a special uh, a JFET transistor. So the uh, combination is a patent of our group, and so we can use this combination for this kind of application. So is this one powered now? From your wrist? Is it active? I hope it's active. Give me a second. So you have another app checking your yes. wrist. It takes a couple of seconds, so. Presently, I see the temperature in the module just to have any kind of application. So in the module, we have 30 degrees. And here you see the orientation of the module, which is displayed here. Oh, so, we so you have an accelerometer yes, powered you from, your, from, your, from your body? From, from your body, yeah, exactly. Uh, so um, how long have you been working on this? And since when have you been able to get to this size? When are you going to get smaller? When is ah. it going to be in my watch? 
Uh, how, how long time does it take? It, it depends on the on the interest of the industry and of course on the miniaturization or perhaps a couple of months or years. Couple of months? Yeah. But why wouldn't the industry be interested in having no batteries anymore? Of course they would be interested, right? Perhaps presently it's a cost issue because the battery is very cheap and the thermoelectric harvester is a little bit more expensive. How about more? Times Let's say if you put it on my wrist. times, watch. three times, four times. If you put it on my wristband here, right? Yeah. Uh, how much more do you estimate? Is it ten dollars more? Twenty dollars more? Ten to twenty dollars more. It's nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. People spend one hundred fifty dollars on their watch. Yeah, yeah. This is, I think, the retail price is one hundred fifty. Yeah. So it should be no brainer, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is coming. Yeah. But so people just contact Fraunhofer. Yeah. And they license the patents? What yes, happens? Ex exactly. You we can license them? the patents, we adapt the technology, we further develop the technology, any kind of things. And uh, uh, any company in the world can license from Fraunhofer? Not only German companies? No, any kind. German companies get a discount or no? The no. same? No. same. No. Okay. same. Cool. How many different Fraunhofers are there? There's like many different... Uh, in Germany we have 60. 60. 60 different phone offers. Exactly. So each one is specialized in a different. Yeah. And where are you based? Uh, we are based in Nuremberg and Erlangen. And so in uh, Bavaria. And you have a whole team working on this? Yeah. Experts in energy harvesting. Yeah. And My this is also for IoT? Yeah. This is the main application presently is IoT. But is it shipping? I'm sorry? Is it shipping in some somewhere? Are people are using this now? Yeah, we work. No, we are working on industrial applications, but unfortunately, we are not allowed to talk about that.